Today I'm going to discuss an IELTS essay question. This question is from Cambridge book number 10, Cambridge IELTS book number 10, test 3. And this is a IELTS writing task 2 question. That is a essay question. Okay. So today we'll be discussing this particular question. Now here's the question right in front of you. Uh, countries are becoming more and more similar because people are able to buy the same products anywhere in the world. Do you think this is a positive or a negative development? Okay, so that's the question. So we can understand here that the question is about countries becoming similar or you can say more and more similar, whatever. Okay, so countries are becoming similar and they have also given us a reason why it is so. The reason is that because people are able to buy the same products anywhere in the world. And now that's the statement of the question. What are they asking us? They're asking us if this is a positive or a negative development. Okay. Now, when they asked such a question, uh, many students here have a doubt. Sir, should I discuss both positive sides and the negative sides? Or should I only discuss positive side in the whole of it? Or completely positive or completely negative? Okay. So the main question here is, main doubt that most of you have here is that should I discuss both sides or should I just stick to one side and discuss only that one particular side. So here in this particular question, a good writer, a good English user might go and discuss about both the sides, that is a positive side and a negative side and then possibly, you know, frame the essay in such a way that he's trying to make, uh, that he's able to make any one side stronger. Maybe he discusses both positive and negative and by the end of it, he's trying to make sure that the positive side is more stronger. So in that case, he can, by the end of it, he can in the conclusion say clearly that even though there are certain negative aspects, it is more positive in nature. Okay. Or the other way around, even though it is got some positive aspects, uh, in a long run, it might be more negative. Okay, one way of doing that, uh, 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 trying this essay is like this. Okay, one way of attempting this essay is like this. Okay, well, that is not wrong. Okay, but what happens here is to frame such a essay and to finally build up such an essay, it might take you some time. It might uh, require you to have a good uh, command over your language. And this becomes challenging when you are in the real exam environment. When you are actually giving the exam, because you only have 40 minutes, you have to think about it in a very profound or in a very uh, deep, uh, you need to have a very deep insight about this. We generally do not have that much time during the exam. So as a IELTS trainer, I generally tell my students to stay away from it to stay away from writing like that where you're touching both sides and you're then choosing one side because they're not asking here to discuss both sides if this question had asked you to discuss both sides and give your opinion of course you would have discussed the positive side the negative side and then given your opinion about it but this question is not like that in fact that's why all of us have a doubt they're not asking us to discuss. So if they're not asking you to discuss, why don't you just take one particular side, either the positive or the negative side and explain it all over that. So that uh, is the approach that I will be taking in my, uh, in my course of action here while I write the essay. Okay. Now, before we go ahead or before I start writing the essay, I have a general practice of framing the essay in my mind. Okay. So what happens in my mind, I'll show you to you on the screen. Okay. Whatever I'm thinking of, there is a way of thinking or framing up an essay. Okay. I generally do not write it down, but here I'll be writing it down and showing it uh, to you guys so that you understand how you are supposed to think about the whole question and how uh, framing a question is really important or really helpful while attempting any IELTS essay question. Okay. So let's move on to the next screen where I'll be giving a much better understanding of the question. 
here. Let me zoom in. So this is generally how I frame something in my uh, mind. The screen that you're seeing, this uh, PowerPoint screen that you're seeing in front of you. You can see the question here. Countries are becoming more and more similar because people blah, 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 blah. Okay. The first thing I ask you, or ask myself is, what is this question about here? What is this question about? That's the first thing I ask myself when I read an IELTS question. This question is about countries becoming similar. That's a major concern. Okay. Once I have an understanding, okay, this is their major problem or this is the major concern that we are going to or the issue that we are going to talk about. Now, what about this? What about countries becoming similar? What do they want to know? Or what are they saying about it? To help me with that, I have the second box where I ask a similar, uh, simple question that is, what is making these countries similar or when are they becoming simpler or why are they becoming simpler or how are they si becoming simpler or where are they becoming simpler, uh, similar, so not simpler, similar. Okay. So the point I'm sure all of you are getting here that this question, since it's giving me a reason. It's answering why countries are becoming similar. So this is what is written here. Countries are becoming similar. Why? Because people are able to buy the same products. So I've broken down this question or the statement in the question into two simple boxes. One is the first box is the major issue. Countries becoming similar. The second box is a sub issue or any supporting evidence or any supporting idea or any not in supporting idea as in an essay but anything that supports this claim so the claim is countries is, are becoming similar and the reason for that is people are able to buy same products okay. now as we know the question is asking us if it is a positive or a negative development I think it is a positive development. I purely think that this is a positive development. So what should I write in the body paragraphs? So to think about your body paragraphs, what I do here is I draw two arrows and you know then there is a this box. Here I try and mention what is the main idea behind the first body paragraph. The main idea behind my first body paragraph is that this would be a positive change as it helps the economy of a nation or national growth. So all the points or all the arguments that I'll be putting in the first body paragraph will be related to something related to national development or will be on a national scale okay? or, uh, uh, as in it helps the country. The second body paragraph, I'll be talking about again a positive aspect of this thing, but here I'll be looking into a more individualistic approach. How it is, how it has helped an individual grow, or uh, the points which uh, helped an individual grow because of such a change. So if you look further down, I've explained it here. If you, if I zoom into the first body paragraph. You can see that the topic sentence TC, TC is topic sentence, okay. As you know, topic sentence should tell the reader what the paragraph is going to be about, right. So here, the topic sentence is as simple as this, lot of commercial benefits, okay. Such a change where countries are becoming similar has a lot of commercial benefits. That's my topic sentence, okay. What is my first argument? My first argument is, first, it boosts the economy and business, okay? When you're able to buy the same products, uh, which is available in UK or uh, US, back in China or India, of course, the economy and the business gets a boost, okay? However, how, how did I explain this? 
ex1 that is explanation 1 explanation 1 is for the argument first argument okay so how did i explain this i have simply pointed out that more taxes from foreign products okay so as foreign products come into a country the country can levy or levy sorry not levy <laughs> levy more taxes on them on those products okay or uh, the companies which are bringing in they need to pay more taxes for this okay so i i will be able to explain this argument this first argument of mine how the economy is boosted so this is that explanation for it okay so now i have a idea okay this is what i am going to put in in my first body paragraph then there is another argument the second argument the second argument here it says or here i put that it helps small business okay so my second argument is now focusing not on the economy but on the smaller businessmen now how will i explain this a small businessman will be businessman will be able to sell products from china without any worry he does not need to worry about um, customs or many other things which used to be a worry let's say which used to be a concern uh, 20 30 years back today it's all very easy right so the benefits of such a change are being shown here in this paragraph on a national level or on a uh, scale where the economy has benefited from it so how did i close the last thing that you need to do is close the paragraph how did i close i'll close by saying that it is helpful for a nation's growth so evidently such a change or such a progress is helpful for a nation's growth so this is about the first body paragraph or all these uh, points that i have written here they will all help me in framing up the first body paragraph so my job becomes easier and moreover when i'm writing the essay i do not have i will not have a tendency to Uh, loiter around the uh, argument or to go off topic i will be crisp clear and it will flow like a river the paragraph will flow like a river it will be that coherent okay so that's the benefit of framing up your essay like this okay so similarly one more example here or let's move to the second body paragraph when i look into the second body paragraph here i can see that the first topic sentence i'm mentioning here is that it's beneficial for an individual so this paragraph is going to be about how such a change is going to be beneficial for an individual so i'll frame a sentence wherein i'm pointing that out then coming to the first argument my first argument is that it improves living standard of course when you are able to buy Uh, products uh, which are available in different uh, parts of the world it improves your living standards how i've explained that here in the first explanation clothes household products you can possibly add to that uh, technology anything else okay so that's a very simple point then the next argument intellectual growth now intellectual growth is uh, a growth of a person as an individual so when you are able to buy products from different countries of course uh, you know you are able to learn more about different cultures you are able to experience different cultures and that i have explained it here by saying that with such a ability or with such a change where people are able to buy products from different parts of the world they are able to know more they are able to learn more and that ultimately brings in a profound insight within them on different aspects of uh, life culture traditions and all of that so that again is a very good point on a personal growth so the next thing that i have done here is i close the paragraph how did i close by simply pointing out that it's also all of this or these points 
also showcase that such a change is helpful for a personal growth. So both the body paragraphs, both the body paragraphs are pointing out the same thing that it is helpful. It is positive. So while I conclude, I go and make a last box. This is the conclusion box. Here I say that it's a, it has twofold benefits. One on a national scale and another on a personal scale. So now when you read through my essay, you'll be able to understand that I am following this structure here. Or this is the framework for my essay. One more point I would like to mention here is that when you put all these in these boxes, it becomes very easy to paraphrase. So let's just look at how I will paraphrase this question. I will simply start from the second box. As people are able to buy the same products, countries are becoming similar. Full stop. That's a paraphrase of the statement that's there in the question. Then I have to put a thesis. The thesis will be that, uh, as I'm saying, both the uh, there are two fold benefits here. Or I just need to mention that uh, it's not only beneficial for an individual, but it's also beneficial for a uh, economy or at a larger scale that is at a national level. So I can simply frame a paraphrase as well as a thesis by using such a framework. So this is just what I wanted to share with all of you so that you can you know, work on this and this would be helpful for you.